All right, guys, I'm going to feature another one here for you, the other uh, portable I own. Uh, this is the Vivitonal, Columbia Vivitonal uh, machine. Um, I redid this one not too long ago. I've already showed it to you a little bit. Uh, but I had a couple of people ask me, uh, they wanted to hear it again. Um, this is by far the best sounding uh, portable I think I own in my collection. I got a couple of them. And I also just featured the uh, VV55 from the Victor Orthophonic. Uh, that was their best selling uh, portable. And that's an excellent sounding one as well. Um, and as you can see, I redid the, restored this one here. I uh, rebuilt the case on this one, restored the uh, the black there with the black uh, shoe polish that came out like new. Um, the nickel plating on this one was like brand new. I didn't have to do much to this at all. I just polished it up. Um, as you can see, it shines really nice. Uh, rebuilt, uh, repainted the um, uh, tone arm bracket. That's actually cast iron. Um, and also, too, I wanted to show you, uh, Columbia, they used... Um, velvet on their turntables and this actually is a uh, red velvet and this one here they use for the portable ones and it's like brand new that one actually I got lucked out with that one uh, the moths usually get to this stuff over the years um, and this one actually was uh, really clean and like new still uh, what I'm going to feature here for you is a uh, Brunswick uh, that's what you think by uh, Pinky Tomlin and Russ Plummer and his orchestra uh, feature that nice uh, Brunswick here for you Played on the uh, Victor, I'm sorry, the uh, Columbia Vivitonal. And there's the inside there. Uh, so let me get that one started here for you. I'm using a soft tone needle on this one as well, just so you know. Because these portables play extremely loud. Um, you can't use a medium or a loud tone needle in these. It just drives you out of the room. It's just too loud. Um, but it never distorts. It never gets distorted. Uh, this is, like I said, this is a really, really excellent machine. Um, and this thing is made to produce some uh, sound. So, I'll put that one on here now for you. Hope you guys enjoy it. Now you've been fooling around a lot, but you're not fooling me. You just think you're smart. Mm. If you keep on acting this way, you just wait and see. You'll be right where you were at the start. Now I work hard to make my money. You step out, think it's funny, but you'll come home. I'll call you honey. That's what you think. You'll come home some night about 11 when you know we dine at 7. Home sweet home will be perfect heaven. That's what you think. I've acted blind too long now. Fixing to change my plan. I can do what you want to do, but you don't seem to think I can. So if away from home you're driven, I will be the first to give in with Come on home, dear, all's forgiven. That's what you think. Don't forget I'm human too. Your mother's coming out 
on the first. You say she'll sweet, she'll never first. And when we're married, she'll live with us. Now that's what you think, baby, baby. That is just what you think. Hey guys, uh, that's what you think, uh, Pinky Tomlin. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. That's kind of a later Brunswick there. Uh, probably to be playing on a uh, machine like this, but that's okay. I like the I like the sound of it. You know, what I mean, I don't necessarily just play the uh, 20s. I play the early 30s and uh, on here as well. Um, but I think that one actually is probably from the late uh, late 30s, early 40s. I'm not quite sure. But at any rate, I want to show you guys again uh, the nice uh, Columbia Vivitonal. Uh, machine um, again. I was using a soft tone needle. You heard how loud that was just for the soft tone Anything more than that is just uh, is overbearing. It's just so much um, But anyway another thing too I wanted to tell you guys like I did in the other video if you have one of these and you're restoring it Make sure that you grease all these joints with new grease um, Down around in here that all comes out pack that with grease and stuff because um, it obviously, you know, obviously it, it um, lubricates it, but what it does is you're actually creating an airtight seal, just like the uh, Victor Orthophonic ones. You got to have those things airtight, or you're going to lose sound quality. You're going to lose bass response, trouble, um, and you're going to enjoy this thing more if all those joints are all sealed with grease. Um, and they were originally packed with grease when this was brand new, but when I pulled this one apart. All the grease was all gone. It was actually, it was like powder. It fell out my hand when I pulled this one apart. It was all dried out. Um, so it does make a difference, as you can hear, how good this thing sounds um, when you actually take and do that. Because you, otherwise you're losing your, you're losing your sound quality. But hope you guys enjoy it. This is the uh, Vivitonal, Columbia Vivitonal Portable. Uh, I think this is the Model 260, I think this one is. So, or the 261. Uh, stick around because I got a lot more for you.